Hello viewers, you are welcome to this video. Today I want us to look at how you can use a method known as soap to do rotation. Yes, you want to use a method known as soap to do rotation. Viewers, I have a video on rotation and in that video, I amazingly came out with a game that will help us to derive formulas to help us do uh, rotations. Yes, and uh, all the rotations we did were through giving angles about the origin. You looked at both clockwise and anti-clockwise rotations through giving angles about the origin. So today I want us to look at a situation whereby the rotations will be done through giving angles but not about the origin about a point other than the origin yes when you are giving when you are asked to find the image of a given point through a given rotation yes about a point which is not the origin how do you go about it how do you go about it so viewers let's look at a question like this for example question number one you can say find the image of the point A. The coordinate is two four under an anti-clockwise rotation. of 90 degrees about the point or about the point maybe P with a coordinate 1, negative 3 yes so we have enough to find the image of the point A the coordinate is 2, 4 under an anti-clockwise rotation of 90 degrees about the point P, Y negative 3. Viewers, you can see that it is not about the origin. It's not about the origin. If it's about the origin, then you can use the, the, the formulas I gave to you, yes, in that video, to solve the question or to handle the situation. But this case, this case, it is not about the origin. It's about a point which is other than the origin, a point which is different from the origin. Okay, so let's look at how you use the method known as soap to do solution. Solution. Viewers, soap simply means subtract, operate, add, and plot. Yes, so soap. This soap. So soap means the S means subtract. The O means operate. A means add. And then P means plot. That is when you are asked to plot the, the image. Yes. Okay. Now, so we are going to use it. Now, so this is the, the, the point you have been given. You have been asked to find the image of this point. Under an interval rotation of 80 degrees about this point. So, if you are using the method known as so, so using the method known as so, what this means is that the first point is that you should subtract, you should sub subtract short, you should subtract the point which is different from the origin, this point, P, from what? So you are going to subtract this point from the, this given point. Yes, the point that we have to find is image. So it's going to be subtract, that is the S. So it's going to be 2, 4, minus 1 negative 3. I see it, and this is equal to. So we are looking at the subtract. So subtract. That is the S. You see it? Subtract. Subtract. We are subtracting this from the given point. Okay, so this one will be equal to 2 minus 1 is 1. And then 4 minus minus 3 will be 7. I need to have it this way. Now, the next point is to operate. Operate. So it means that you have to look at the operation you are being asked to do. 
They have been asked to find the image of this point under an anticlockwise rotation of 90 degrees. So this is the operation. Anticlockwise rotation of 90 degrees. Are you seeing it? So we have to operate. So operate. Operate. So this is the S. S which is equal to subtract. And the O. Operate. Operate. We are going to operate. Now, anticlockwise rotation of 90 degrees about the origin. This is the formula. X, Y, mass onto negative Y, X. Yes, those of you who have not watched my, my video on rotation. Yes, rotations amazingly made easy for all. That is, that is the, the, the title of the, that video. Rotation amazingly made easy for all. If you watch that video, you know why if it is anticlockwise rotation of 90 degrees, this is the formula. Yes. In that video, you derive all the formulas. So, so anticlockwise rotation of 90 degrees about the origin, x, y, mass onto this. So what this means is that, if you have, now you are here, you have dragged on this point and you are here. What this means is that, 1, 7, will now become, you look at what is happening in the formula. Do you see it? And then do the same thing. X has come down here, has not changed, so I bring 1 here, I have not changed it. Y has gone up there, it has changed, so I will take 7 there and change it. Isn't it? Yes, so we have been able to operate it. Now, the next point is add. Add what? We are going to add this point to the current uh, 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 value, the current answer. Okay, so the next point is add. Add, that is A, P is equal to add. So we are going to add, so we are going to be like this, negative 7, 1, plus this point, 1, negative 3. And this is equal to negative 7 plus 1 is negative 6. And then 1 plus negative 3 is negative 2. So we have it issue. And now the last point, the last uh, thing we have to do is to plot. That is when we are asked to plot it. So this is the point. So it means that if we are finding the image of this, let's call the image A1. So the A1 will be negative 6, negative 2. Do you see it? So when you are asked to plot it, then the last one will come. You plot it. You plot. So this is how to use the method known as SOAP to find the image of a given point under the rotation of a given angle about a, a point which is other than the origin. Now, if you were to look on the board, if we were to be about the origin, you see, if you are using the same SOAP, this point will have been 0, 0, this one. Will have been P or any point zero zero so origin so zero zero. So it is zero here. Here would have been zero zero. When you subtract, you are getting back this thing two four. Then you operate. You operate using the two four. When you add, because it's origin, when you add, you are not changing anything. When you subtract, you are not changing anything. I think so. It's almost the same as when it's about the origin. I think it just that. This one, the coordinates are, are not 0, 0. You have 1, negative 3, or a, a point which is other than the origin. Okay. Now, let's look at another question and bring this lecture to an end. Let's have another question. Question number 2. You can give you this. You can say, let me clean this one. You can say, find the image of the points. Another point say B B in the coordinates negative seven four under under a clockwise rotation under a clockwise rotation of 90 degrees about the point, I can give any point at all, P. Let's go to 4, negative 8. This way. So we want to use the, 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 the soap. So solution. We have solution. It's not difficult at all. So the first point is that you should subtract. You should subtract this point. From the point I've been asked to find this image. So it's going to be so subtract, subtract, subtract. So it's going to be 
going to be negative 7, 4, minus 4, negative 8. Are you seeing it? That's the S. Yeah. Yeah, subtract S. So, negative 7 minus 4 will be negative 11. 4 minus minus 8 will be 12. So, we are here. Now, the next point is to operate. So, the operation here is a clockwise rotation of 90 degrees. So, for clockwise rotation of 90 degrees, we use this formula xy mass onto y negative x. Yes, US, that's why I'm saying I have to go and watch my video titled Rotation Amazingly Made Easy for All. We, we, we derive all these formulas using a game. Yes, we derive all these formulas using a game. So, we are advised to go and watch that video. So that I can easily write these formulas. Yes. Okay. So we have it this way. So what this means is that we are now here. We have worked on this point and we are here. So what this means is that negative 11, 12, when rotated clockwise in 20 degrees, will be uh, will give us. Uh, you see that if you look at what is happening in the formula, you as when you write the formula, then you try to look at what is happening there and do like the same thing. X has come down here, has changed. So I bring negative 11 here and change it. Y has gone up there, has no change. So I take 12 there and not change it. Are you seeing it? So you have it this way. Now the next point is to add, add what? So A, add. We are here. So we are going to add. So we have 12, 11 plus the point. 4 negative 8 and this will give us 12 plus 4 is 16 11 plus negative 8 is 3 so it means that it means that our b b1 if b1 is the image of this point then b1 will be equal to 16 will be 16 3 this will be the coordinates of uh, of B1, that is the image of B, 16, 3. Now, when you are asked to plot it, then the P will come in, P, plot, then you plot it. So viewers, you have seen that uh, the how to use the, the methadone as soap to, to do rotations is not, it's not difficult at all. Viewers, anti-clockwise rotations, anti-clockwise rotations are also referred to as counter-clockwise rotations. Yes, so anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise is the same as counter-clockwise. Are you seeing it? Yes. Now, at times, if it is anti-clockwise too, they can decide not to say anti-clockwise or counter-clockwise. They will just give you a positive angle, for example, 90 degrees. So they say rotation of 90 degrees about the origin, about a point. Then about about a point which is other than the origin. Then they are talking about anti-clockwise. Yes, when the given angle is positive. Now when the given angle is negative, for example, negative 90 degrees, then they are talking about clockwise rotation. Yes, so you can say negative 90 degrees, negative 180 degrees, negative 270 degrees. If it is negative, then they are talking about clockwise rotations. If it is, the given angle is positive, then they are talking about anti-clockwise or counter-clockwise rotations. So thank you very much for your attention. For more of this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Shemala Junior, if you have not done so.